Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to create drill through report in SSRS. So we will be creating two reports. So one will be summary report and then we will create a detailed report with the parameter. So from the summary report we are going to pass the value to the uh, detailed report parameter and then uh, we will see the detail in that uh, report. So let me show you how exactly these report look like and how we can drill through. So first of all, I have created this summary report and you can see that we have region, sold price and items are sold. So this summary for Asia region and once you click on Asia, it will take you to another report that will show you region, country in that region and then product names which are sold and detail level information for sold price and item sold and finally we have sale person name. So if you want to come back you will click here and then go to Europe and uh, that's all you will see European uh, detail report uh, and uh, this is that this these reports are called drill through and you as you can see that by clicking on one of the value you will drill into and see all those uh, detail so if you click on North America you will see North America customers and uh, whatever the items we have sold in uh, North America so let's go ahead and create these reports by ourselves uh, and uh, explore different options now first of all let me show you a data set that we can use so in this case we are going to use a total sale table that has all those columns to create our summary report i will be use only three columns so i will be using item sold sold price and region from the total sale table and if you see here we are getting more than one record for each of the region and one we will be creating a group in the ssrs uh, that will uh, take care of it. I can go ahead and actually uh, create a query here and that will uh, just uh, group by uh, by the region and uh, take the sum of these uh, two columns. Uh, so that will work as well but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create a summary report in uh, SSRS first and uh, if you ask me if uh, I can create uh, the query and uh, just uh, take those results that uh, I prefer using uh, group by and all those kind of thing here so I don't have to take millions of record in the SSRS and then use the group by there but here's just uh, the purpose we want to show you so we are going to do it uh, in the SSRS so we took the query go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools uh, and we have created SSRS project uh, here is our shared data source uh, that we can use uh, and in my case it is pointing to the sales database uh, if you don't have any you can go ahead and right click and uh, add a new data source uh, and then make it uh, shared so once you uh, you can create embedded that will be just specific or limited to data report uh, so if you are creating more than one report uh, they are going to use the same uh, database uh, go ahead and create the shared one so go to the reports now to create our summary report uh, add new item and here I'm going to call this one summary and uh, we can call this one uh, summary report add go to the data sources tab here and add data source and we will be using a shared data source so we call it DS sales and then we go and use shared data source reference select our data source now we are good here let's create a data set that will be the query going to return us some results so we can use the query or use a store procedure or function so we call it D set and sale total now it is going to be embedded shared uh, use a data source here paste the query and we are good let's bring the table here there are multiple ways uh, to create this summary report you can use the matrix or table I'm going to show you this uh, by using table and uh, one of the video will be will be using matrix as well insert table now you can bring uh, the columns here and first of all I want to show you how it look in a detail so this is how our records are looking now we need to create a group by re region so I'm, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click here go to the uh, these three lines if you see these are the detailed rows so if you right click here go to the add group and parent group and now here I will be using a region so it okay fine now let's go ahead and preview the report it looks good but we don't need this column now we have the group here so let's go back and delete the region column now we are good next part uh, it is still uh, showing us the detail values uh, so we don't want that we want to have add and use the sum so go ahead and right click here add total and also you can go ahead and uh, 
right click here and add total so now we have uh, totals and as you can see still we have the detail values and then we have a uh, total right uh, here so we can go back here and uh, in this case uh, let's make this one a little large this is these are the values that they are displaying so what we can do we can click here and then press shift and click here and then go ahead and right click and say delete so delete rows it is in delete rows and associated group yes go ahead please because there is no group on the item sold and sold price so we are done with that now our summary report is ready so we have regions here and then this is the sum of those items so let's go back here I would like to do one more thing here let's make it bold and give some color that will make our report more fancy preview everything looking good now we want to create a detailed report that can accept region as a parameter and show us the record related to that region so right click here in the reports again go to the add new item and we are going to create a detailed report I'm going to call this one sorry it did create a report one we did not give proper name so click here and provide name so we call it detail report underscore sale we are good here let's go to the data sources right click add data source so we are going to call this one DS set sales uh, total as well and uh, now you can use share data source references so we are using sales hit ok now go to the data set uh, and here we will be providing uh, more details so we call it uh, D set uh, and we call it sale total whatever you like use as embedded and use the data source and now we take the query that has more details so this is the query we are going to use we copy this query this has country name sale person name item sold and everything and we can use whatever the columns are required and one final thing we will say where region column is equal to at the rate region so we are making this one as a parameterized so it can accept a region as a parameter now we are good here let's right click here insert a table and now we can bring sale person first name and we can bring product we can bring uh, the item sold and we can bring uh, the item sold price and also we can bring uh, let's bring the country and region as well so we see the information is coming correct so region is not really required here but I would like to so you can see that okay if you click on Asia region it should show the records only for Asia and uh, let's click here make it bold and then make it italic or whatever you like as a header so that works better now our report is ready let's move this report on this side sorry the tab tablex and now we have a region so if I will provide Asia what happened it is going to return me all the records for Asia region we are good one more thing uh, let's save the reports go to the summary report again and in the summary now we are going to pass uh, these region values to the detail uh, report underscore sale report so we go back to design and right click here on the column so region is the column that we want to pass right click go to the text box properties and then uh, go to the action once we go to the action we say go to the report and once we go to the report we tell uh, we need to tell which report to use so in our case uh, detail report sale okay use that one use the parameters whichever we want in so we can add remember we have one parameter from this report that is the region so that is shown up here and now we can provide the value so value should be region column value so that's good now if you go back here in the general here is a tool tip so what uh, if somebody is moving or hovering over uh, mouse over that region uh, column value what will happen so tool tip is the way we can kind of display some message we say click here click on region to go to detail report so now we are good hit ok let's preview our summary report and now you see that mouse is you know converting into hand uh, I don't know what exactly you call this icon but it converted to a hand and pointer it's a kind of pointer so it is saying now if you go to the uh, Europe it's saying click on the region to go to the detail report so we can click anywhere and go to detail so if I click Asia it is a 
go into the details uh, report underscore sale but it is showing this parameter as well we don't need to see the parameter so we can go ahead and hide this parameter so let's uh, go to the detail report underscore sales and go to the parameters and right click on the parameter parameter properties and now say hidden so select parameter visibility that's hidden so we are good here so we all fine come to the summary report again now if we go preview and click on Asia we are going to the detail but uh, the parameter is hidden so we don't see the parameter we don't need to see the parameter so that's uh, one way to uh, take a detail and uh, you can switch uh, between summary and detail so this arrow you will go back to the parent report and now we can go to the Europe and once we are in the Europe we see the European region records are here you f you can further create another drilled report uh, that can be detailed by the country so let's say you have country and uh, then you have states and all that so if you somebody click on here in this entire own country then you can uh, make uh, use of that so you can create multiple uh, drill down uh, um, sorry drill through or drill down whatever you call reports uh, and if you go back you have North America now and uh, that's how you will be using it. So this is a, uh, one of the uh, report uh, video I wanted to create uh, how to create the drill drill through report uh, and uh, use of the parameter. One reason uh, in the flow, uh, if you see, I started with the creating different type of reports and then I switch uh, to the parameters first because mo some of the reports are using parameter and this was one of them and uh, that's why I created this report uh, at the end of like uh, when I'm I'm pretty much done with the parameters so uh, go ahead watch other videos with the parameters a lot of uh, good videos and information I'm going to create a lot more videos on SSRS and stay tuned thanks very much see you next video